Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about superconductors. Back in time, when scientists started dealing with electronics and discovered the voltage, current, and power, and they knew that they had to have a conducting material to make the electronics flow through it. But they noticed when an electric current passed through a conductor, some of the energy is lost in two forms like heat and light. And this lost amount of power is depending on individual materials electrical resistance. And that was not good in some situations. So they started to think how to get the best results from it and how not to lose any powers in any forms. So they started to search for low resistance materials and they found gold and cuba. They are very good conducting materials because of their low resistance. And after that, they discovered a direct relation between temperature and resistance. That means the colder these materials are, the more conductive they become. But no matter how cold you make gold or copper, it will always show some electrical resistance. In 1911, the Dutch physicist Hy Kemmeling discovered when mercury is cooled all the way down to 4 point degree above the absolute zero. Its resistance disappears, and that was when the first superconductor discovered. And after that, they discovered more materials shows zero electrical resistance at a certain low temperature. So what the benefit do we get from the superconductors? When the resistance is zero, electricity conducted perfectly, without any loss. And from that, we theoretically can make a current flow through a closed loop forever with no loss in power. And that's not the only property superconductors have. It also don't let any magnetic field pass through it. and Instead, the field will remain on the surface. This explosion of magnetic field is known as the Meissner effect. And you probably seen the Meissner effect in action and science experiments. Like this, a magnet is set on top of a superconducting material in room temperature as shown. Nothing happened until it cooled down by using liquid nitrogen to its critical temperature. Here the Meissner effect kicks in causing the magnet to lift in. And for sure the superconductor is not made to only make this trick. There are a lot of cool applications using superconductors like MRI machines and superfast trains. Superconductors are very useful materials and I'm sure you've asked yourself lately why we don't have it at home already. If we use it, it will be no loss in power. That means we can provide our homes with electricity without a generator or any source of power. Well, that's right, but however, you need to know the superconductors only have this function when it cooled down to its critical temperature, and without that factor, it's a normal conducting material, and it's hard to provide this factor in normal places like homes because it needs a lot of preparations and safety. That's why the scientists start searching for a high temperature superconductors. These materials have high critical temperature and it's easy to be reached at room temperature and with these materials it will be easy to provide the perfect atmosphere at any place for them thank you guys for watching please hit a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe